Congratulations to New Row once again. The, for, the support of these kids are tremendous. Uh, we were lagging, but I tell you, they they came up and they stood up like men today. We're very fortunate, New Rochelle. Be proud of your team. Be proud of your coaching staff, especially the coach that took them on this journey, and that is Lou Di Rienzo. He's the reason why they are here at this level where they are. All right, thanks, Mr. It takes four quarters to play, and that's what we do. It takes four quarters to play, whether you're down or up, we just keep playing. All right? On me. We're here with Leroy 
Rochelle Shell's coaching staff. They just won the double-A um, semifinals game. They're heading to the Dome for the second straight year. Um, how does it, what does the win mean to you guys after um, what, everything happening with your head coach? Well, I think this, this right here is extra special because he is not here, but this is his plan. This is his process. Um, he pretty much just gave us the keys, hopefully, for two weeks. And get, we get the keys back next week. <laughs> um, so I think it's extra emotional. Um, us, us guys, as coaches, we've been coaching for over, like, close to 20 years together. All right? We had these guys to play, and now I'm part of the staff. Uh, but we've been been doing this for a long time. And it's, you know, that's why it's extra special. How did you prep your guys' um, players to, for this big W? He's grinding every day, man. Practice with a purpose. Uh, it's called plot. We practice with a purpose every day during the week. And, you know, we prepare for, prepare the kids. The kids were resilient tonight. You know, some kids stepped up, became men today. And we just, we, we, that's how we prepare. We practice with a purpose. And like I said, that, that comes from Coach D, man. Yep. He actually put this process in mo uh, motion. It started in August. And like I said, all we did was have the keys for the car to the car for like two weeks and <coughs> hopefully get them back next week. Tell me, what, what's it with fourth quarters with you guys? You're different teams in the fourth quarter. That's, that's, we, uh, Coach Rice said it last week. We're resilient. And we, we preach and we practice to play all four quarters. Four quarters, not stopping, no whether we're up or down, four quarters to the end. Fourth quarters, the best quarters. Yeah, right? hey. You never can mention a football game without giving your opponent credit. And, um, Shalinda Ho is a great football team. You know, that was a good football team that coached well. And I think, when you take all the tools that we've learned from Coach D and the way that he's taught us to respect the game, you get a resilient bunch. And it's, it's about them. That's what they do. We saw some tears tonight out of these guys. I think they know what they did and you know what they got coming next week. And I think that it's got to make you guys feel pretty special Definitely. to see what Definitely. they did. Definitely. Extra emotional. And um, it's a blessing that we're in this position and hopefully we can keep it going. Uh, Mill talk, another question. Come on, baby. Get in there. How are you guys going to prep you guys' um, players for next week since um, this is going to be a second road to the Dome? Um, sa same game plan, you know. We practice with a purpose. We practice to be perfect. I mean, can't be perfect, but we practice to try to be perfect, you know. So we're going to approach it the same way. Um, obviously more at stake, but it's, you know, preparation as far as the week goes. Um, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same. Thank you, guys. Thank <laughs> you. 